Airship Zeppelin NT. The Zeppelin NT is not a relic of the past. It's a modern rebirth of an iconic form of aviation. Built by Zeppelin Luftschiff Technik in Germany, this airship blends the romanticism of early 20th century travel with 21st century engineering. Unlike the rigid behemoths of the Hindenburg era, the NT, or Neue Technology, features a semi-rigid structure and is powered by vectoring propellers that give it incredible control. With panoramic windows, quiet engines, and the ability to hover and cruise low over terrain, it's not just a tourist platform. It's a research vessel, a media platform, and a symbol of slow, graceful flight in a world obsessed with speed. Virgin Galactic. Up in the edges of space, Virgin Galactic is turning the dream of civilian spaceflight into reality. Its flagship, VSS Unity, is a suborbital spaceplane that detaches from a mothership, ignites its rocket, and climbs to the threshold of space. Passengers on board experience weightlessness and see the curvature of Earth. It's a spectacular moment made possible by decades of aerospace innovation. While it may look sleek and serene from the outside, every launch is a ballet of extreme precision. Virgin Galactic isn't just a spaceflight company, it's a bold statement that space is no longer the exclusive domain of astronauts. Star Raker. Now let's look back to a concept that never flew, but still captures the imagination. The Star Raker. Proposed in the 1970s by Rockwell International, the Star Raker was a gargantuan horizontal takeoff space plane designed to ferry cargo to low Earth orbit. Unlike the space shuttle, the Star Raker would take off like a jet, using advanced engines that could function in both the atmosphere and vacuum. Its enormous lifting body design was ahead of its time, and although it remained on paper, it helped shape future thinking around reusable space launch systems. In many ways, the Star Raker was a precursor to today's space ambitions by companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. Nord 500. The Nord 500 Cadet is a small but fascinating piece of VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing history. Developed in France during the 1960s, this experimental aircraft resembled a flying saucer with ducted fans and a futuristic canopy. Its unique design explored the challenges of lift fan propulsion long before modern day drones and tilt rotors made the concept more mainstream. Though it never went into production, the Nord 500 remains a striking example of Cold War era aerospace innovation that dared to think differently about what aircraft could be. ATIA Hybrid. The ATA Hybrid Air Taxi, developed by Ascendance Flight Technologies, is part of a new movement towards sustainable electric powered air mobility. With a distributed hybrid electric propulsion system and an elegant high wing layout, the ATEA offers a blend of efficiency, silence, and reduced emissions. Its vertical takeoff capabilities make it perfect for dense urban environments, while its extended range bridges the gap between helicopters and traditional aircraft. This is not just a concept. It's a real aircraft poised to redefine short-range transportation. Vickers Swallow. The Vickers Swallow is a stunningly modern aircraft with vintage soul. Inspired by classic warbirds and powered by cutting-edge materials, the Swallow is a high-performance sport aircraft built with carbon fiber precision. It captures the raw thrill of flight, open canopy, sleek wings, and powerful acceleration. What makes it special is the merging of heritage design with the latest in lightweight construction, proving that even in the age of autonomous drones, there's still a place for handcrafted aviation excellence. A 200 Aerobase Now imagine an aircraft so massive that it serves as an airborne base. The A200 Aerobase, though largely theoretical, is often envisioned as a flying aircraft carrier, capable of launching and recovering drones or smaller craft mid-air. These sci-fi concepts play with scale and functionality in radical ways, suggesting futures where mobile aerial platforms could revolutionize logistics, surveillance, and disaster response. While not yet real, 
the A200 pushes the imagination far beyond traditional runways. E-copter minimalistic yet effective, the E-copter is a small, lightweight rotor craft that strips flying down to its essentials. With a design that emphasizes accessibility and modularity, it's ideal for personal transport, agriculture, or reconnaissance. Its simplicity hides the genius of its efficiency, less complexity, lower cost, and easier maintenance. It may not look like much compared to jets and airliners, but in a future of decentralized mobility, machines like the e-copter could play a vital role. Hitachi Rail Blues Train Switching tracks for a moment, the Hitachi Rail Blues Train represents a new kind of hybrid mobility, not in the air, but on the rails. It's Italy's first battery-powered train, able to switch between diesel, electric overhead lines, and onboard battery power. Silent, clean, and versatile, it's a significant leap for sustainable public transport. While not an aircraft, it exemplifies the same values driving air mobility forward, decarbonization, flexibility, and innovation. Shuttle Carrier Aircraft one of the most unforgettable sights in aviation was the NASA shuttle carrier aircraft. Most famously, the modified Boeing 747 that piggybacked space shuttles across the United States. Heavily reinforced and fitted with specialized mounts, this aircraft carried the weight of America's space dreams on its back, quite literally. It wasn't just transport. It was a logistical and engineering marvel, a blend of brute force and delicate balance. Its retirement marked the end of an era, but its imagery will forever define aerospace history. Lilium Jet. From Germany comes the Lilium Jet, a sleek jet-powered EVTOL aircraft featuring 36 ducted fans embedded in its wings and canards. Designed for high-speed regional air travel, it offers the vertical takeoff benefits of a helicopter with the cruise efficiency of a jet. Its futuristic design hides a complex array of electric propulsion systems, and Lilium's approach focuses on quiet operation, safety, and scalability. If successful, it could become the go-to model for city-to-city -city air taxis. Antonov and 225 Maria. No aircraft embodies superlatives like the Antonov and 225 Maria, the heaviest aircraft ever built the largest wingspan of any operational airplane. Designed in the Soviet Union to transport the Buran space shuttle, the Maria evolved into a one-of-a-kind heavy cargo lifter capable of transporting impossibly large payloads. Tragically damaged during the conflict in Ukraine, its legacy remains towering, both in size and spirit. The An-225 wasn't just a cargo plane, it was the physical manifestation of unrestrained ambition. Aeromobile 4.0 The Aeromobile 4.0 is what science fiction has promised for decades, a flying car that actually transforms. It's not just a car with wings, it's a fully certified aircraft that folds its wings in for street use, then deploys them for flight. With a sleek body and fully integrated avionics, it's a marvel of convertible engineering. Designed for those who want true door-to-door -door air mobility, the Aeromobile bridges the gap between roads and skies with astonishing elegance. Technam P2006TNG Technam's 2006TNG is a twin-engine marvel beloved by flight schools, surveyors, and even militaries. Light yet robust, this aircraft boasts high fuel efficiency, glass cockpit avionics, and excellent flight characteristics. It may not scream futuristic on the outside, but its widespread use and adaptability make it a quiet workhorse of modern aviation, a testament to smart, user-centric aircraft design. Super Guppy. Bizarre, bulbous, and brilliant. The Super Guppy is what happens when aerospace meets necessity. Built to transport oversized components like rocket stages, its enormous cargo bay opens like a giant clamshell. Though it looks almost cartoonish, the Super Guppy played a critical role in the U.S. space program. 
Sometimes, the weirdest looking machines are the most indispensable. Dornier Sea Wings Dornier Sea Wings brings German engineering to the water's edge with their Sea Star aircraft, an amphibious twin prop built for luxury and utility alike. With the ability to land on both runways and oceans, it opens up entire coastlines and island chains to direct access. Built with corrosion-resistant materials and modern avionics, it's ideal for private travel, surveillance, and even rescue missions. Flying boats are back, and they're better than ever. Aircraft HX-2 The HX-2 is a strange bird, a German ultralight aircraft with a teardrop fuselage and pusher prop configuration. With its minimalist cockpit and composite shell, it looks like a stealthy experimental drone, but it's actually a manned aircraft. Built for efficiency and performance, it challenges conventional design norms and hints at where lightweight aviation might go in the near future. SkyDrive SD-05 The SkyDrive SD-05 is Japan's most promising entry into the flying car race. A compact vertical takeoff vehicle with drone-like lift rotors and a fixed-wing design, it's being designed for use in dense urban areas. Backed by Toyota and supported by the Japanese government, SkyDrive could debut at the Osaka World Expo in 2025. It's a powerful symbol of how serious the future of personal flight has become.